This photo of teen boys laughing and doing the Nazi salute is going viral. You're watching What's Trending, I'm Casey Spivey. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more social media news daily. Prom has never been immune to racism and cultural appropriation. But this prom photo is the latest to expose the blatant racism that runs rampant in some high schools. The photo, which features a group of boys from Baraboo High School in Wisconsin, shows the group laughing and performing a Nazi salute on their way to junior prom. This photo was then posted to the internet, where it was picked up by a journalist and then sent the internet into a tailspin. So how did this photo even come to fruition? Like, what photographer would actually take this photo? Well, one student is providing some more information about the photographer. The student reported, There was a photographer taking pictures of the whole senior class, and he wanted one of the boys and one of the girls. When he took the girl's picture, he was extremely rude and gross towards us. Then, when the boys took their picture, he told them to do that and was laughing about it. The photographer, identified as Peter Gust, has since removed the photo from his website and replaced it with this bizarre message. Do malevolent, I think he means do too malevolent, behavior on the part of some in society, this page has been modified. To anyone that was hurt, I sincerely apologize. To those who have harmed them, we as a society often ignore them. I have chosen not to do that. You are jerks, grow up. Though this looks like it's just the tip of the iceberg. The journalist posted messages he received from alumni to his Twitter page at Jules Sue. Like this account who said, I'm mixed and a classmate of mine posted this about me. When my friend reported it to the school, they did nothing. They said they can't prove it was her, even though one of her friends told them it was her. Two years ago today, the kid on the far right of the prom picture put this photo of me on his story and tried to make fun of me for not supporting Trump. He continued to mock and harass me for being a feminist as well. This is a snap pointing to two Hispanic students with this terrible caption. I can 100% support the claims of racism at that school. The use of the N-word was pretty common among a lot of white students. Students of color only make up about 12% of the students at Baraboo High School, out of the 1,000 in total. And these reports don't look too flattering for the administration. The day after Trump was elected, I heard one of them shout white power in the hallway. I immediately went to a school official. I was told that I should look up videos of Black Lives Matter protesters being hostile and that I should get thicker skin. A student wore a Confederate flag sweatshirt to school every single day and was not told to change once. The school responded quickly with two statements. The photo of students posted to hashtag Baraboo Proud is not reflective of the educational values and beliefs of the school district of Baraboo. We are investigating and will pursue any and all available and appropriate actions, including legal, to address. The school followed up with a letter to the parents, which said, let's be very clear, hate has no home in the Baraboo School District. Our schools are spaces where all people, regardless of their race, color, religion, creed, sex, sexual orientation, gender identity, national origin, or ancestry, are respected and celebrated. Many have responded on social media, including the Auschwitz Memorial Museum, which said, it's so hard to find the words. This is why every single day we work hard to educate. We need to explain what is the danger of hateful ideology rising. Auschwitz, with its gas chambers, was at the very end of the long process of normalizing and accommodating hatred. Wisconsin State Representative John Erpenbach also released a statement that said, there is no place for hatred, intolerance, and racism in our society. Unfortunately, based on what these students see coming from the White House, some of them may believe what they have done is acceptable. It is absolutely not. Leaders from the president on down need to condemn racism in all its forms and work towards a world where we learn from the mistakes of history. What do you think about this racist prom pic? Let us know in the comment section and for more of what's trending, head to whatstrending.com.